हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू ब्रिक्स एम्बेडेड सिस्टम ट्यूटोरियल माय नेम इज राजीव एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज इक्लिप्स टू राइट योर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम एंड रन इट फॉर ए वी आर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो टू स्टार्ट विथ यू जस्ट नीड टू रन द इक्लिप्स वेन यू विल रन इक्लिप्स इट विल शो यू सम logo like this uh, depending upon your version of eclipse it will show you eclipse logo and uh, then it will ask for a folder uh, which you need to use as a workspace so you can uh, create any folder like uh, my workspace and click on okay now it will load all the plugins and uh, then it will run the इक्लिप्स विंडो सो फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू विल सी इज अ वेलकम विंडो ऑन विच यू नीड टू क्रिएट ऑन अ बटन कॉल्ड वर्क बेंच सो वेन यू विल क्लिक ऑन वर्क बेंच यू विल सी दिस विंडो दिस विंडो इज हैविंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग लाइक प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लोर दिस विंडो विल लिस्ट ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट्स यू विल क्रिएट एंड दिस एरिया इज कॉल्ड एडिटर वेयर यू कैन ओपन ऑल द टेक्सट फाइल और प्रोग्राम फाइल Uh, other than that we have some more window like problem task console so uh, as you, as per my experience we only need a window call console other than uh, console all other windows are uh, useless window so what i will do i will close all other window and uh, i will uh, move this console window from this location to this location so that it will give me a more space for editor now it's time to create our first project for that we need to click click uh, right click on this area go for new c project it will ask you uh, name for uh, project so give it a name next uh, you need to select uh, uh, project type that must be avr cross target application you can select empty project you must see avr gcc tool chain then click on next here you will have two options debug and release you must select these two and click on next then you need you will go to a window where you need can click uh, you can select uh, microcontroller so as i am going to work on at mega 16 i will select uh, at mega 16 microcontroller next win, next uh, option is for frequency if you have a uh, newly purchased microcontroller it is running at 1 megahertz so it default option is for 1 megahertz but my microcontroller is running at 12 mega so i will make it 12 then i will click on finish so my first project has been created uh, it will have nothing but uh, only all the uh, library files now to write co a code i need to create a c file so I, again i will right click on this uh, project not on uh, open window i need to create click uh, uh, on project only so go to new C source file and type a name for C file. So I am going to choose a name called main. dot C. Uh, instead of main, you can give it any name, but uh, in case uh, the extension must be dot C. And click on finish. It will create a file and it will open it in editor. Now I need to write some code, so I will type some default code has include. uh if you do uh, if you want to avoid some typing you can press control space so it will automatically type the rest of the things again control space a v r i o dot h now so i have created uh, i have written the basic code uh, uh, now it's time to compile and run the code so to compile the code you need to click on this hammer button just click on hammer button it will compile the code as i haven't written anything uh, extra there is no error and it's showing finished building size dummy but if you will click on this uh, hammer button it will not generate a hex file for you as you can see inside debug folder there is no hex file so to to generate a hex file i need to enable some settings for that you can go to properties of that project c c++ build settings and you can see there is a option for generate hex file for flash memory just enable this option 
क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई ओके कंपाइल इट अगेन नाउ यू कैन सी इट्स जनरेटेड द हेक्स फाइल नाउ इट्स टाइम टू ट्रांसफर द कोड सो टू ट्रांसफर अगेन यू नीड टू डू सम सेटिंग्स गो टू प्रोपर्टीज ए वी आर ए वी आर ड्यूड हेयर यू नीड टू डू प्रोग्रामर कंफिगेशन फॉर दैट फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन न्यू हेयर यू कैन गिव इट सम नेम लाइक आई एम गोइंग टू यूज यू एस बी एस पी एज माई प्रोग्रामर सो आई विल टाइप यू एस बी एस पी यू कैन गिव एनी नेम बट जस्ट फॉर कन्वीनियंस आई एम यूजिंग द नेम यू एस बी एस पी क्लिक ऑन ओके हेयर यू विल गेट ऑप्शन फॉर यू एस बी एस पी क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई ओके नाउ इफ यू विल क्लिक ऑन ट्रांसफर बटन और इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन क्लिक ऑन ए वी आर अपलोड प्रोजेक्ट टू टारगेट डिवाइस यू विल सी दैट इक्लिप्स इज ट्राइंग टू ट्रांसफर द कोड नाउ टू रन द कोड आई नीड टू कनेक्ट द हार्डवेयर सो आई एम कनेक्टिंग इट नाउ इफ आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस ट्रांसफर बटन अगेन यू कैन सी इट्स अ ट्रांसफरिंग द कोड now there are few more settings which we need to do for uh, better uh, performance of our project like uh, optimization so for optimization again we need to go to c c++ build setting and optimization here you, you can see by default there is no optimization option if you want to optimize code you need you can select slight optimization moderate optimization or heavy optimization uh, as Uh, from my experience uh, i always choose size ex, uh, optimization it actually it actually reduces the size of your hex file and it's a uh, very good if you are uh, writing a big code click on okay and again if you will uh, compile it again it will just reduce the size but uh, uh, as we have written nothing it can't reduce the size it will remain same next one more thing which we can do is right now for compiling code i need to click on hammer button and to transfer the code i need to click on avr button but uh, as we know that whenever i am compiling i must transfer the code to my board then only it will be useful for me so if we want we can enable an option inside uh, properties that option you will find in same c++ build settings and the first option uh, here avr dude if you will enable this option what new thing we will get is whenever you will click on hammer button it will compile the code as well as it will transfer the code to your microcontroller at same time so using a single click you will get a facility for compilation as well as transfer so this is the complete procedure for creating compiling and transferring first project now if you want to create a new project again you can do same procedure uh, you can follow same procedure like new c project and you need to do all those settings but uh, if we want to avoid all the uh, avoid doing all those settings we have a shortcut what we can do is select a project which is having all those settings and press control c if you will press control c it's actually copy or you can right click and use the copy now control v so now it will ask for a name so here you can write s c c o n d p r o j e c t so second project now it will create a second project which will have actually everything which you have done in first project like uh, you will have main dot c uh, the hex file generation option is already enabled avr dude option is already enabled optimization setting is already done and uh, that programmer and other settings are also there exactly similar to first project so first time you need to do some extra work to create project uh, after that if you want to uh, to have a new project again just control c and control v and you will get a new name uh, you need to put a new name and you will have a new project so now if you want to have multiple projects many projects as many as as many project you want you can create very easily
so for learning more about embedded system please keep watching our tutorials thank you